you have done enough for if you do nothing else for me Lord you have done enough
everyone. Good morning. Please, may we retire to our seats. No more photographing by the main stand here. Please retire to your seats. Settle down the procession making entry into the hall. Stop photographing here. Stand by. We're making our entry now. Hello. Please, security, vacate here. Vacate the podium here. Please, vacate here. morning to us all. On behalf of the Senate Ceremonials Committee and Information and Public Relations Unit of the University of Nigeria, I welcome you all to the 49th Convocation Ceremony for the Confirmment of Postgraduate Diplomas, Higher Degrees, Title of Professor Emeritus, and Award of Merit Degrees of the University of Nigeria. I'm your anchor for today's event, the Public Relations Officer, UNN, Chief Dr. Obun Omer. Now the procession, academically making the entry, as we have the first batch, the Students' Medal, the Student Union Executives, Administrative Assistants and Officers, Assistant lecturers, assistant research fellows, assistant registrars, lecturers, research fellows, senior assistant registrars, principal assistant registrars, deputy university librarians, deputy registrars, director of work services, director of medical services, and the complete the first part. Procession. The second part, that's part B of the procession. Interestingly, will also be led by the student fellows, the national president of the University of Nigeria Alumni Association, the Dean of Student Affairs, the POSA, professors, directors of institutes and centers, as well as divisions, deans of faculty. Faculty order as they arrive, the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, the Provost, College of Medicine, the Provost, Rectors of Affiliated Institutions, the University Librarian, Honorary Graduates, Professors Emeritus, Vice Chancellors of other universities, Chancellors of other universities. Second part, having the best bearer, the German Senior Ceremonials Committee, Professors Emeritus Awardees, Registrar, Deputy Vice Chancellors, Administration, Academic, and Enugu Campus. And then we have the Honorary Degree Awardees. University of Nigeria Council members, the Pro Chancellor. 
Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, the Chancellor, the Minister of Education, and of course, Kevin the Rare is the visitor to the university. His Excellency, President Muhammadu Buhari. Emeritus, 
and award of honorary degrees. This is the 49th convocation ceremony of the only University of Nigeria. The University of Nigeria. So can As the procession makes its entry into the hall, we we'll request those who are not standing yet to please be upstanding. That's the request we have made. Everybody should be upstanding until you are so directed to sit down. It's the tradition. And we thank you all for complying. This segment having the student medals leading on the procession.
you want to try as much as possible to make yourself comfortable. And most importantly, as much as possible, we have to leave the podium and the set box, the VIP stand here. Thank you all for your understanding. And if you're passing through any inconveniences, we do apologize. I know that it's a sacrifice we have to make for today. The Department of Music, for the Fanfare, Australian Procession, now comes to a close. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem. University of Nigeria SAR. Thank you. 
together, University of Nigeria, my alma mater. We may please be seated until directed otherwise. My Chancellor, the Imperial Majesty Oba Adeye Niton Babatunde Gurisi Ojaja II, the Oni of Ife. Kabiesi. With your kind permission, may I invite to the microphone the registrar of the Citadel of Learning, Dr. Chris Ibukwe, to direct the affairs for this convocation, kicking off with the Bible reading, the hymn, the prayer, and other ceremonies associated with the opening of convocation ceremonies. Dr. Chris Ibokwe, please. May I invite the Anglican Bishop of Usuka Diocese, Right Reverend Aloysio Usabo, to say the opening prayers. The Anglican Bishop. The Bible reading is taken from Psalm number 15, reading from verse 1 to verse 5. O oh Lord, who shall sojourn in thy tent? Who shall dwell on thy holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth from his heart. Who does not slander with his tongue and does, not, and does no evil to his friend, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a reprobate is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own heart and does not change. Who does not put out his money at interest and does not take a bribe against the innocent? He who does these things shall never be moved. This is the word of the Lord. Please can we stand to take the hymn on page 5.
gather in heaven. He has placed you to enable us to gather in this hall today for the word of higher degrees, certificates, and diplomas, and for the commendation of excellence in scholarship and service delivery in our society through its public recognition and celebration. For all this, we thank you. For the tireless labors of years which have brought our graduates a graduating student to this day of graduation, we thank you. Thank you too for the work of the numberless team of supervisors, readers, and mentors whose collective efforts have guided our students through the painstaking part of research and publication. As these students receive their new degrees and the social status they confer, May they ever be mindful of their responsibility to preserve their integrity through a lifelong commitment to regional research and publication. May they be shining examples of disciplined scholarship to the upcoming generations of students. We thank you as well for our worthy as well for our worthy professors emeriti and our worthies of the Honoris Causa Doctorate. May they continue to lead and inspire in their respective fields of endeavor. And may their work become the become of a better, more prosperous society in our country. May we be blessed by your sitting presence all through this ceremony. May all we do today be pleasing to you and conducive to our continued health of mind and body and our internal salvation. And may your grace of safe travels return us all safely to our respective destinations at the close of our celebration here. Grant this prayer through Christ our Lord. Excellency Muhammad Buhari, 